Now we're going to draw our attention to scientific notation. What we need to know here is that a uh, definition of scientific notation, and it's a way of expressing numbers that are too big or too small to conveniently write them in decimal form. So let me write this down for you. Or too small. We want to be able to express them concisely in a form uh, that is convenient. And I'm going to show you what I mean by this in our next slide. Okay, so here we have the Earth. If we wanted to express the diameter or the circumference of the Earth, around the Earth in centimetres, this is the number that we would get. As you can see, that's a massive number. So in order to be concise and using our decimal spaces, so we can assume that after this last zero, that there's a decimal space and a zero. Okay? Here's our, full, our whole number. By using the notation, what we're wanting to do is we're going to want to move this decimal place here and move it all the way along to here. So when we're expressing big numbers, we'll always have a whole number, decimal point, which will be here, and then whatever our notation is. So in this case, we can work out when we move these decimal places um, each place. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I know that a decimal point is, is equal to 10. We know this from primary school. So... I know from this equation that we have 10 being our decimal places and we've moved it eight times, which is here. Okay? Now, because we have numbers sitting here, other whole numbers other than zero, we need to write this form as 4.0075. Which is basically this number here. Okay, so rather than writing this massive number, we can then be concise and write this number here. Let me just highlight it for you. This one right here. Okay, so here's a map of Long Ridge. So let's have another practice. So in um, 2016, there was a consensus or census, I should say, not consensus, a census, and it said that there was 2,970 people as population. Okay, so how do you think we would scientific have a scientific notation for this? So, remember we had, we put in a decimal point here and a zero, and we want to move this decimal place to here. So it's one, two, three. Three spots. So this is the um this is the answer. So it's two point nine seven multiplied by ten because it's decimal places and it's to the power of three. Okay, so here's some more examples that I wanted to show you. So as you can see from this column here, we're talking about massive numbers that we can certainly write in a more concise manner using scientific not notation, which is here. For the purpose of this, um, this lesson, though, we're not going to talk about really small numbers. So I'm going to scribble that out. So please don't worry about that one. We will talk about some more numbers in the next lesson. Okay, so let's go and check. Now, I know that these numbers in the scientific notation are correct, but I want to show you how they uh, got to it. So let me make it bigger. So we have 
In this first one, we have 1.5 by 10 to the power of 11. So I know that there are 11 decimal point um, steps that need to be taken to make this, this bigger number here smaller. All right, so how we're going to do this is, remember, we're going to imagine that there's a decimal point here with a zero. And we want to be moving this decimal point up to here. Remember, we need to have one whole number, decimal point, and then the rest of the number, which is exactly what we've got here. So using our analogy as before, we want to move the number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What happened to my numbers then? Let me do that again. So we have 11, 11 decimal places. And that is why up here, they have written as 1.25 multiplied by 10 being the decimal place, and there are 11 of them. Okay, let's move on to this one down here, di diameter of the moon. So much like our one before when we were talking about the diameter or the circumference of the earth, we're now talking about the moon. Again, let's imagine there's a, there's a um, decimal point there. We're going to move the, this decimal point to here. Okay, so give me this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly what they've got here. 10 to the power of six. And the number that they have written is this number and they have put the decimal point right there, which is exactly what they've written here. Again, let's have a look. Two more to go. We're looking for seven de decimal places. We're looking for 1.56 which is this number here. We're going to have our uh, decimal place here and it's going to be moved from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure enough, we have seven decimal places and that's exactly what it says here. The estimated number of cells in a human body. Wow, we have quite a few. Assuming there's a decimal point here, we're going to move it up here. So that gives us one. Now we're looking for 14 decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sure enough, 10 decimal places, sorry, 10 being the decimal places, 14 steps. This is correct.